I am Julie Black. Tonight is a very important night. We are celebrating the whole legacy of the Honey Jam. It's been about 16 years. Has it been 16 years, Bev? 18 years, 16 years? 16 years. I Well, I performed in 1994 when I was 10. So, um, you know, I'm here. That was not 10. <laughs> but uh, it's then and now, and it's a celebration of music. It's Black History Month. We're here at Harborfront Center, and it's nice to be able to come together with women and um, just kind of share our energy and share our gifts, our talents. And uh, do our thing and have fun. Yeah. Honey Jam is important because it's a platform that's available for many, many artists, especially women. It's female driven. Um, we're in a very male dominated industry. But I think it's nice to be able to go have somewhere to audition, to be able to have people um, hear you, even critique you, get feedback, and grow from there. And I think back to 1994. Till now, like that, that was kind of the launching pad. Um, as me as a solo artist, I spent so much time doing hooks for hip hop. It was nice to be able to do something on my own. And um, yeah, so it's, it's nice to know it's still here, almost two decades later. It's our, you know, it's kind of like our soul train. You know, and God rest Don Cornelius, the soul. We need platforms like this more and more. So hopefully, Honey Jam will continue to exist and pass the baton so we keep it going and it evolves. Break through the glass ceiling. 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 Break through the glass ceiling.